destroying data. Hello, YouTube, and Herp Derp is here with yet another episode of Warframe Spy Vault, another Corpus episode here on Nathos Eris, where we have... I've actually hacked a uh, vault to get this MOA running around. The no MOA doesn't seem to be realized. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that's right, take those guys out. This is, like I said, Nathos Eris is a great place to be practicing. To practice uh, high-level Corpus hacks, because uh, you get... You get you do get a lot of opportunities to... I hope that doesn't come in here with me. No! No, 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 don't come in here with me. No, 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 that's bad, that's bad. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Please, no, 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 don't come out, don't come out. No! <laughs> okay, that might... That could be interesting. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Alright, so we're going to do the box as fast as possible here. That's why I call this room, is the corpus box. I just blew... Come on. There it is. Okay, so, rule number one. Never take any action if you're not entirely sure of every possible ramification in this fire mission. <laughs> Including hacking a vault and creating one of these little corpus shockwave mole dudes. So anyway, there we go. Alright, so I like to start this room by, as the elevator is going down, hopping into one of the one of these little doors here, and it's it's always difficult because it switches which door is open at any given time. All right, so now this vault is a great vault. It's absolutely, positively essential to have a silent weapon because there are a lot of cameras, a lot of widely dispersed guards. And you have to you're gonna have to do everything absolutely silently. So. Like I said, that helps a lot. Especially because there's usually a guard down on the ground floor. The way I do this vault, there are two different ways you can do this vault, at least. The guard down on the ground floor is not easy to juke. Whereas the guards up here, there's usually there, there's usually one that spawns... Actually, I was surprised he didn't. There's usually one that, at high levels, so there's one that will spawn right about here in this level. And there's one that spawns standing right in front of that control panel there, which is where you come out. So you need... You can get a melee assassination on him if you move fast enough. Otherwise, he'll walk along this path, along the little path, square path, and then you'll have, you'll be, he'll be in camera range. So you have to shoot up cameras before you can get to him. Anyway, so we're going to do the box the fun way, which is the puzzle method. And I've done this, I know I've done this with you guys before. I think I failed miserably when I was doing a uh, spy mission with Banshee. <laughs> I had to do this. Oh my word. So for rule number one, this is a very narrow hallway, so parkouring backwards and this is one of the most frustrating things in the game of Warframe. Okay, so now once you get this part, I would, oh, well, I failed there. I recommend you uh, make sure to have run toggled off completely no matter how you run. I did not succeed in doing that because these little, hello, there's a person there now. Huh, weird. Don't know where he came from. Okay, because this these little narrow strips can be very, very difficult to aim properly. So what? What's he even? Warframe things. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve. Normally people don't look in here. He looks like he might be looking in here right now, but hopefully he doesn't. So we're gonna solve this laser puzzle. First, first set is easy. Nothing. Please don't see me. Strange little man. Alright, so the top, the first three, first three platforms are all in the center. And the very last platform. Where's he going? Do you see me? I don't even know what he's doing. Okay, this is a weird set of oh, guards. I've never seen them do this kind of thing before. So this first three platforms are all in the middle, and the last one is at the corners. So it's going to be a little fun. So it looks here like we can avoid... We can pretty much ignore the uh, double set of lasers that are going forward and backwards because we're just worried about the one that goes side to side. Because when the one that goes side to side is out of the way, the ones that are going forwards and backwards are out of the way as well. So I'm going to wait for it to go through another couple of rotations. And I'm going to do it on this front. Whoop. Okay, so now we're aiming for a corner. Corners are open, corners are closed. Corners are open. Oh! Oh, that was close. Alright. Keep crouched down, because I don't know what that random dude might be doing. 
So no, so no one ever looks in this box from what I've seen, though. So it looks like the only way to solve this one is to jump in the middle. So I'm going to wait for it to get as large as possible. Ah! Yes, made it. Ooh, that was close. All right. So it's not necessarily the fastest way to do this fault, but it's certainly the most entertaining. Intellectually stimulating. Oh, whoa, I'm about to fail this. Come on. Stupid lag. All right. Data extracted successfully. So, how else can you we do this fault? Like I said, there are two main ways. Two or three main ways. Um, you can always juke around... Uh, well, this is a high enough level mission that those are close. But you can always take out cameras and juke your way around the uh, ground floor. He's been locked out. Let's override the security. <sighs> or, if you're coming in the way I came in, there's another option available to you, usually. So I would came in on this floor. So if I wanted to take another option, I would come down here, and that is apparently on this is on this particular mission. This door is actually closed. Normally it is open. Anyway, that is a back way to get down into this room here. But otherwise, you have to figure out how to juke your way through these lasers here. Normally one side's open, one side's closed. Or you can use that little drop down thing to get through them without having to worry about it. Then you can juke a little laser there, hack your way through that. I don't know why I just did that, because there's no points. And then you'll have the door open. This is a vault that's generally well f uh, full of people, though. So I do recommend you use the method where you drop down the top, just because it keeps keeps all the enemies out, and you are very, very vulnerable to enemies in this vault. Um, any other comments? Oh, yeah! Right, right, right. Because if... Uh, my main comment is there are a couple other little Easter eggs you can try and use. Um, first of all, if I can ever actually do real parkour here. If you actually go all the way across the vault over to the other side. Hey! What? Who's shooting at me? Who? Who? Where? How? Okay. So, oh, those are both open. Those, I mean, those are both closed. Interesting. On uh, many lower level in instances of this, you can go through this little back hallway, and, it, and at the very back of the hallway, there's a button that turns off all the lasers in this tower, in the, in the giant box. The problem is, that button, I've found, sometimes glitches out, so you can't press it properly. It will give you the little X turn off lasers, and when you attempt to press it, it nothing happens. The switch doesn't do anything. So... Ah, Nathos Eris is just kind of different. like I, I, you never see corpus people up here in any other corp, corpus level instance of this box. But like I said, it's a good, it's a fun mission to try practicing this stuff. All right, that's enough to babble about this. Herbs are about peace, YouTube.